Hi, my name is Siti and welcome back to the channel where we make educational technology easy for you. In today's video, we're going to be looking at recording our meetings held on Microsoft Teams. Let's dive into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now, this video is part of a series of videos on Microsoft Teams and how you can use that online. Now, in the cards at the top, you'll find the link to the playlist on Microsoft Teams and all the other videos will be added over time. Now, today we're looking at recording our team meetings. So let's go ahead and open up Microsoft Microsoft Teams. Now once we're on Microsoft Teams, the first thing we're going to do is dive onto one of our channels. Now we've already done some scheduling in a previous video, but I'm going to dive into the week three channel of our EduFlip demo team. Now here in week three, I'm going to start a meeting right now. So at the top, instead of scheduling that meeting, we're going to click on meet now. I'm going to leave that camera on and I'm going to meet now. Now I am going to mute myself to avoid any feedback, but you can see we're in the middle of our meeting. Now I can invite any of the students here on the right hand side and I get a number of suggestions. Now I'm going to invite student one and two so I can show you what that looks like to them. Now we're going to invite student one, I'm going to click on these three dots and ask them to join. We're also going to call the second one, ask him to join as well. Now I'm going to open up my student account and I'm going to join as a student. So let's go ahead and open up that student account and we're going to join this meeting as a student. Here we go. We can see that there is a meeting going on right here. We're going to click on that and join this meeting. We're going to do the same thing as before, join without our microphone and maybe even join without the camera as well. Now here in the main meeting as a teacher, I can check to see who is in the meeting and which participants have accepted my invite. So let's go ahead and click on this list of participants and we can see that student one is in the meeting. Now I'm going to start my recording and they will be notified that a recording is taking place. So let's go ahead and click on those three dots and start recording. Now the way this works is as soon as I start my recording, they will be notified. So let's open up the student's view and let's see what the student sees. Here in the student view, you can see that at the top there is a banner and the student is made aware of the fact that a recording has started. This not only tells them that they are being recorded, but it also tells them that after this meeting has taken place, a recording will be made available. Now let's go ahead and finish our meeting, hang up and let's see where this recording is stored. So we're going to just hang up as a student and I'm going to go to the teacher's view and I'm going to end this meeting. Now as soon as I've ended this meeting, you will see that here our recording is now being saved to Microsoft Stream. Now it does take a little bit of time for that to be processed and the video is processing in the background, but as soon as everything is processed, that meeting will be made available. Now as soon as that recording has finished processing, there are four main options available. So let's go ahead and click on those three dots next to the recording. Now here you can see we can either open it in Microsoft Stream, we can share this with others, get a link to this file or make it a tab. Now when we make it a tab, we're going to move it to the top of our channel. This means that it is now available for easy access. This is great when you're having a big meeting to introduce a new topic and you want to pin it to the top of that channel. Now the other options are to get a link and this link can be shared with anyone you choose or we can also share it using the share functionality. That means we can make it available to other people in our organization. I'm going to cancel this at the moment and I'm going to open it up in Microsoft Stream. Now once opened up in Microsoft Stream, you'll see that there is a number of additional features available. We can make this video fully interactive by adding a form on the right hand side or we can scroll down and we can add a number of comments. Now Microsoft Stream is part of Office 365 which means that all your students will have access to this and it's very easy to work and collaborate on video. When I share my video from within Microsoft Stream, I have even more control over how I share this video. So here at the bottom, when I click on share, you'll see that I can share it via email, I can embed it on a website, or I can even select the starting time to share this video. Again, you can see it will only be viewable by authorized users. So we're going to close this, and we're going to click on those three dots down there. 
Now, these options allow us to now add it to another channel. So let's say that you want to reuse this video and you want to pop it into the channel for the first week. Well, then here you can do that right now. We can also edit the video details and trim our video. This is a very basic video editor, but it's great for taking out those messy starts or sometimes the end of a meeting where you're dismissing everyone. So you can really focus on the content being delivered. And that is how you can record your meetings in Microsoft Teams. Now, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure you scroll down into that comment section below. Let me know if you are recording your meetings and what is the purpose of recording those meetings? Are you repurposing it as learning materials or are you just making it available to the students that were not present at the time? Now, I'd love to hear about it in the comment section below. Now, once you've left your comments, scroll back up, make sure to hit subscribe, that bell notification so you can be notified of future videos. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.